Welcome! In this video, we'll show you just how easy it is to track hours with ActaTime. We'll go over such topics as task management and new user settings. We'll also demonstrate how to run detailed reports and give a few tips on configuring the system. Please note that, for your convenience, the trial account is pre-populated with demo data. However, you can easily remove it by clicking on the question mark icon at the top right corner of the interface and clicking the Clean Up Demo Data button. Before we get to time tracking, let's create a few tasks first. We can do so in the Tasks interface, where it's also possible to manage your customers and projects. The section on the left displays your customers and projects, while the section on the right shows the list of associated tasks. Along with tasks' names, this list indicates their progress statuses, estimated hours, the time spent, and so on. You can select which of these attributes to see by clicking on the Configure Columns button. Then, if you want a more visual view of your tasks, consider switching to the Kanban mode. To set up a new task, click on the Add New button. Now, select a customer, then a project, and enter the names of your new tasks. Configure the necessary attributes like estimates, deadlines, and billable or non-billable statuses. Indicate any additional values in the custom fields and you're all done. Next, let's go ahead and take a look at the time track interface to see how we can track hours for the newly added tasks. There are two ways to do it, in a weekly timesheet or calendar. This screen shows your weekly timesheet, a list of tasks and the slots for logging your working hours, leave time, and work statuses. To add a new task to the timesheet, you can search for it by name or add it manually from the list of available tasks. Once the tasks are added to the timesheet, you may start to track time in a truly easy way. Just enter the hours you spent on each task and add more details in the comments section. In case you plan to be absent from the workplace on that day, you can log your leave time in the timesheet as well. And if you want to change a work status when you're working remotely instead of going to the office, for example, you can do so by selecting a relevant option from the list of work statuses. To ensure the timesheet shows the exact information you need, you may include some additional data and sort your tasks in the order that works best for you. And if you want to have a more granular view of your work, you can track time in a calendar format. Here, you can add your tasks to the calendar and indicate when you started and stopped working on them. From both views, it's possible to submit your timesheet for manager approval. If you're in charge of managing your colleagues' timesheets, you may find our Lock Time Track feature really handy. It allows you to lock users' time entries on a day-by-day -day basis or for any selected date range. And once their timesheets are locked, you can be sure that no data changes and edits take place. Now, let's open the users interface to see how you can set up new users and manage the existing ones. The Accounts and Permissions menu shows you the list of users, along with the summary of their available permissions and their ability to manage other users and projects in the system. Click the Manage Groups button to line up your staff members by teams or locations. To add a new team member, click on the New User button. Fill out the profile. Use permissions to manage their access to specific features, the scope of work, and other users. Then, click the Save and Send Invitation button to invite them to the system. While the new user is accepting their invite, let's go ahead and manage their work assignments. Using this section, we can quickly assign the recently created tasks to our new team member, allowing them to find and add these tasks to their timesheet. Next, let's run a report to get some insightful data on spent time. ActaTime has three types of reports, real-time widgets, charts, and reports. The widgets allow you to see real-time data directly on the report's dashboard. Whereas the charts give you a clear visual representation of how time is allocated across projects and teams. For a more in-depth data analysis, you can pull up one of many ActaTime reports, which are divided into two main categories, 
time reports, and financial reports. With their help, you can get valuable insight into time allocation across projects and teams, overtime, time-related costs, billable time, profit, and more. For a simple overview of your project hours, run the Staff Performance Report. Select the necessary date range and try grouping different options. Then, choose which team members and projects you'd like to see in the report and click the Generate Report button to create it. Now let's get a quick estimate of how much you'll bill your customers for working on the project using the Billing Summary Report. There are many different options available for you here to make sure that the report shows exactly what you need to see. You also have an option to export the report in CSV format if you'd like to make some adjustments in Excel. And in case you run reports daily or weekly, you can set them up once and then save them on your dashboard for future use. Now we've covered pretty much all of our main features, so let's take a step back and go over some of the settings to show you how to adjust Acta Time to better suit your specific needs. We'll start with the very first option in the Settings menu, Turn Features On or Off. Here you can pick and choose which Acta Time features to use. Anything you're not interested in can be turned off and hidden from users. Next, let's jump to General Settings. In the Naming section, you can change the default customer, project, task structure to better match it with your unique workflow. The Data Access Restriction System provides several additional options for allowing or restricting users' access to specific features in the system. We've reviewed the most important aspects of working with ActaTime, from time tracking to managing tasks, creating users, and running reports. Hopefully we've answered all the questions you had about our product, but if we haven't, feel free to reach out. Thank you for watching and have a great day.